Okay. Both my nephew and Tony are pulling out their lines. I like how there's just a log floating through the water. Keep in mind the orange line is longer than the white line is. And here comes a magnet for the white line. Do you catch any magnetic fish? Let's see here. Not with that one. <laughs> That's why I keep telling you guys, put your arms out like this so you can pull it away from the bridge when you wrap pull it out. My nephew says he had something good for reals. He thinks he just lost it. No, I did. And I didn't lose it. Shit, yeah. I got a good cast. You got to stand it up against the railing. Heavy, like the current was pulling it. Might have got wrapped around a log. They do sink after where they get fucking full of water. And Tony brings up a whole whopping load of not damn thing. My nephew's line is still inside there as he slowly pulls it back, trying to catch something. Yeah, let's see here. We got Tony about to cast out. Tony's actually, uh, ooh, didn't get snagged up. Nice, nice. My nephew's trying to bait something magnet magnetic inside the water yeah. by not reeling it, it in. It works like a fucking fish. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> it does. No, it don't. It really doesn't. F fish move to moving objects. Metal's like, uh, okay, it just passed by five feet. I'm not going after that. <laughs> and then one up was nothing. And, and there goes the two pieces he just found. Did I really? Yes. You just take those two pieces you just found over the edge. Yeah, you did. One more line out. You have to really top the water, Aaron. Yes. Well, suffice to say, we caught something, but it wasn't what we wanted to catch. Because the line goes directly underneath the bridge where the magnet got stuck. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. And at least my nephew's still doing pretty good. His line's out there. I don't see it floating on the top of the water yet. But let's see if we get this unstuck. We just got done back from casting this one out and bring it back in. Look at all that magnetic dirt and everything all over it. Wow. Oh, look at that. It's a fucking... Ah. Well, got a whole bunch of magnetic dirt for the first one. And Damn, my friend got the other one unhooked. Sweet. Good job. With magnet and tack. Nice. Good job. Well, my YouTube fam, let's see here. Our treasures we got today are this. Found it on the trail. Going underneath the bridge so you can do some magnet fishing. As you saw, we spent a, little, a few hours at magnet fishing. Went to a few different locations. Didn't really get a whole lot. I mean, that was the first piece of treasure we found. That says, run. I don't know why, but whatever. And then we got this piece. This is a piece of slag all the way from the Kennecott mines up in the mountains. Our magnets, this thing is stuck to our magnets like you would not believe. So that's how I know it's slag. But the most disgusting thing I saw today while magnet fishing was some dude... He crossed over the bridge where we were at, and I looked to make sure there's no footer or bike traffic going across when we go to cast. And he's going to cross, and I look, as I hear him going across the wood, and I see him, I'm like, oh my god. I had to cover my eyes because the dude was buck naked, well, minus a pair of chick's panties, riding a bike across the Jordan River Rock Walkway. But until next time, my uh, YouTube fam out there, have a wonderful day.